the Geo Enabling Initiative for Monitoring and Supervision, or GEMS, was launched by the World Bank's Fragile Conflict and Violence, the FCV Group, to create global public good by building client capacity in digital data collection and analysis and systematically enhance project monitoring and real-time risk management in FCV settings. The main idea behind GEMS is to get eyes on the ground where we can't always have boots on the ground. Let's take the example of a small town called Mafa in the northeastern Nigeria. This is a conflict-ridden region, hardly accessible to bank staff because of security. But there are bank-funded activities implemented in this town. A picture and the exact location of the activity were taken using a smartphone. The GEMS initiative has developed a methodology to systematically collect rich project data from the field using a simple smartphone. The principle behind GEMS is to bring a special dimension to project data. We call the rocket science, the data coming from remotely sensed technologies like satellite and drone imageries. The GEMS team has worked closely with the European Space Agency to channel these works for the Fragility, Conflict and Security EO forest Cluster and with the Geospatial Operations Support Team. Then there is what we call the pocket science or data collected in real time from the field using smartphones. GEMS is about that pocket science the two technologies are complementary and combined, you get actionable data that we like to call the socket science. The GEMS team is currently working with the project P360 within the bank to build a centralized platform that combines multiple layers of geospatial data from various sources. The GEMS methodology uses a free open source user-friendly mobile data collection tool called Kobo Toolbox, which is donor funded. It has been developed by the Harvard Humanitarian Initiative. It's a kind of simple tool that is very appropriate for challenging settings and allows to collect data online and offline. Using this tool, project implementing agencies are able to collect data in real time from the feed at the most granular level. On this map of the Democratic Republic of Congo, each point on the map represents a site where a bank-funded project has intervened. Each point gives information about the sub-project, including its GPS location, the description of the activity at the site, and even a photo that gives an idea of what has been done at the exact location. With the current pandemic situation, this is a very effective way to continue supervising and monitoring projects remotely. To date, more than 130,000 locations of bank-funded sub-project sites have been mapped in 18 countries. And these are data and information that can be leveraged to strengthen countries' resiliency. But what GEMS is really about is capacity building initiative. The entry point is a three-day workshop training where we teach participants everything they need to know to be able to run the digital monitoring platform independently by themselves. We build local capacity, which contributes to improving digital skills locally and to enabling monitoring and supervision standards owned locally and mainstreamed through bank funded projects. We are also about to collaborate with a global evaluation initiative to further create public good of local MME skills in countries. Since the COVID mission constraint, we have adapted all of our training online and the past year alone, we have trained more than 1800 people online from 70 countries. I'd like to conclude with this message from clients in Uganda. For real time data and better MME, new client capacity with simple ICT. Call.
Thank you very much.